and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a new and improved tutorial on creating a foil person with a foil dress. This will be much more condensed and straight to the point than the initial video, and I'm adding a bonus piece, which is a foil sword. You can use any sort of aluminum foil, heavy duty aluminum foil, or even foil candy wrappers for this. Foil candy wrappers are extra fun because they're so colorful. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using regular kitchen foil. That way, the scale is larger and easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So, without any further ado, let's get started. First, let's start by creating a basic foil person. Get a rectangle or a square piece of foil. The closer you can get it to square, the more proportioned it will be, but really, doesn't matter too much and then both the top and bottom sections rip thirds don't rip it all the way down just rip it a little bit as you can see here and like I said do this on both sides remove one of your middle sections this is going to be the bottom of your foil person but don't throw it away because we're going to use it to stuff the head crumple that piece into a very small ball and then place it onto the opposite piece where you just ripped it out of, the center of the top portion of your foil person. And now begin wrapping it around. This is going to be the head of your foil person. So try to get it as round as possible. Now begin by twisting and crunching what will be the arms and legs of your foil person where you made those initial rips into it. Take another small ball of extra foil and crumple it towards the bottom. This just adds a bit of a behind to your foil person, which helps them sit and stay in place. Really it's optional, but I found it's very useful in sort of having them in different poses and postures while they're sitting. As you can see, start to take that parachute body and crinkle it in towards the center. And now you have your torso for your foil person. Once you have your torso, you can start to put on the finishing touches of really shaping the legs, the torso, at pulling the head up if you want a neck, um, and just kind of messing with the proportions a little bit more until you're satisfied. It's that simple. All right, the next step that I have for you is to create a foil dress. So start with your already created foil person and then get a relatively large piece of foil. As you can see, this is how much bigger than the person it is. In the center of your piece of foil, poke a hole in it with either a pencil or a toothpick or something. And then that's where you're going to be pushing the head through the foil. So first step is to use that hole that you just created and gently gently place it over the head once the head is through start securing some of the foil around the neck area this way it'll just be a little bit more reinforced then raise the arms of the foil person up through the top again you can poke holes using a pencil if that's easier although if the arms are already formed and sturdy you can just use them to poke the hole through the foil Once the arms are through, you can go ahead and start securing the foil around the top of the torso and under the arms to really start securing it in place. And if you want to add sleeves or so to your dress, then you would start securing the foil around the arms and then move down towards the torso. Now you decide on the length of the dress that you would like. Start ripping around the edges to make this a more circular cut around the body of the foil person instead of a square and you can choose how much you want to rip off depending on how short or how long you would like this dress to be so at this point you should have all of the torso neck and shoulder area secured and we're just going to be working on the bottom of the dress to create a nice clean edge and a poofy bottom along 
the bottom of this dress, start by folding over the foil, again trying to keep it in a circular pattern. That way the dress has a nice round hoop skirt bottom. Continue folding it around the bottom to your liking and then add some finishing touches like maybe shaping the dress on the bottom. And with that, you are all done. Now for the foil sword. This is going to be a very different type of construction. So begin with a very long rectangular piece of foil. Just like how we started with the body, we'll begin by dividing it into its different sections. So the blade is going to make up most of this rectangle and make a small tear on each side of where you want that blade piece to be. Here it's just over half the length of all the foil that I have. Then for the handle, you want to make two rips of uh, same width on each side. And these are the sections that you have for your sword. It looks kind of like a cross. On the long section that's going to be the blade, start gently folding over the foil. The more you fold it, the sturdier this sword is going to be. And make those folds nice and neat for a clean, sharp edge on your sword. It's going to look crazy long. That's okay. That's actually what we need right now. On the guard section of the sword, which is right now the only open section, um, start by that crunching folding into little ends on each side, but don't fully shape it yet. We're just rough shaping the whole bottom portion of the sword. Now take the blade and fold it down over top of itself so that part of the blade that you folded over is going all the way through the guard and into the handle. Now you can start folding it into the handle portion. So here I have put it inside the folds that I just made. Since we first just did a loose shaping, we can fold it into the foil so that the blade fold over is hidden and then start shaping the guard and the handle by crunching and twisting our foil into shape. Once those pieces have shape, go ahead and fold them in half. So here you can see I'm folding the guard in half on each side. Again, this makes it sturdy, but it helps with the proportions as well so you don't have a really long, skinny sword handle. Now for some finishing touches, like making the blade pointy. On the very end, make a mark in the middle, and from there, fold over each side so that the top now has a point. If you want to add just a tad bit more dimension to it, make a crease down the middle of the blade, not a firm crease, and then flatten it back out. This just adds a little bit of dimension to it. And that's it, you're all done. If you want your blade to be skinnier, just fold it over more initially. If you want it to be beefy like this long sword I made, just fold it less. And that handle should be nice and sturdy so that it can be gripped by a foil person, but the sword will keep its shape. Thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate it. If there are any more elements you would like to see in terms of foil sculpture or foil people or anything like that, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I hope this was helpful for you for whatever project you want to use this foil person for. If you found it useful or entertaining, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more. I will catch you next time.